You said that you felt like you were dreaming, that you didn't want to wake up from this dream. Do you still feel like you're dreaming? Like, tell me how you feel now. Right, yes, I, I feel like I'm still dreaming. <laughs> and um, although facing tomorrow could mean the end of the dream, um, it has been a sweet, 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 sweet one. Well, I thought that you did a fantastic job tonight. How do you feel about tonight's performance? What was going through your mind? Are you getting the butterflies? Are you anxious? Are you excited? Um, you always get butterflies um, going into performance, especially this one. I keep doing these like really big songs, and Adam keeps picking these really ambitious numbers for me to do. Um, and it's a challenge every week, which is nice, because it pushes me to my limits. I learn so much, especially working with Adam. Um, and uh, most importantly, I have a blast just getting up there and doing it. Um, I really got into this song this week, it kind of in similar veins to what I did with uh, A Case of You by Joni Mitchell a few weeks ago. Um, it was really nice to invest myself completely in music and kind of lose myself on stage and just be completely uninhibited as per what other people thought or yeah. um, how people are going to scrutinize the performance. Now talk a little bit about your background in music and being a vocalist, like how, how did your, your start in music kind of inspire you to, to get here today? Well it came from, I came from very small beginnings back in my hometown when I was hanging out. I, I didn't start doing music at all until like late in high school when I was, um, I got into this, to a band in high school and we were just kind of making music in my friend's basement and our vocalist quit and I had to, and we were like, who's going to sing? And I was like, I guess I'll try. And then uh, the rest is history. I started doing shows and like theatrical productions. And um, I started learning a lot from my friends. I like how you brought in an old school song that the judges mentioned a lot of the younger generation might not be familiar with. Mm -hmm. So how was it getting adjusted to that song? Or was that a song that you yourself were already familiar with? Um, it was actually... Uh, perfect because I hadn't heard the song before and it was it was my opportunity to connect with it from my um, young whippersnapper perspective <laughs> and, um, and and hear it with really fresh ears because um, a lot of times you can get lost in the fact that a classic song is a classic song and it can be intimidating mm -hmm. to fight to strike the right balance between bringing something to the table while doing it justice in its old you know intended arcane interpretation <laughs> For more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.